uh, give a demo of the Notion widget that I made in iOS using a scriptable application as well as the shortcuts application. Um, so yeah, we can see on the right here, I've got my Notion um, open to uh, this particular page. And on the left, I have uh, my iOS device, which is mirrored uh, with QuickTime. So we'll, we'll see this stuff here show up every now and then. Um, yeah, so basically uh, I wanted a way to have um, the contents of a Notion page or a collection um, to be uh, presented on my iOS home screen. And so uh, Scriptable is uh, very powerful and has added the functionality of creating uh, custom widgets using JavaScript. And so um, that opened up that door essentially for making a custom widget for Notion. I know that Notion's official API is coming out in the, the near future, um, but there has been uh, a lot of work on the unofficial API using uh, Notion Pi. And so I kind of took that, uh, created my own Notion server that um, allows for uh, very like basic operations, um, creating um, new uh, blocks, deleting blocks, uh, reading blocks, for example. Uh, and that, in combination with the shortcuts and scriptable, um, allowed me to do this, essentially. So that's basically how this is built. There's um, source code and more information. Um, and they'll all be um, within links at the bottom of this video. Um, but most, yeah, we'll get that stuff out of the way. So now we can talk about the features here. So we can clearly see that we've got um, the contents of this page kind of being uh, mirrored here. So one thing that we can do is we have a little plus button. So if we end up clicking that, that will run a uh, iOS shortcut. In this case here, it's the append to Notion block uh, shortcut. So we can just say test and that will finish running. We can see that it updated on my uh, Notion page and the widget has also updated. And so I can click the trash bit beside it. That will run the delete Notion block shortcut and it removes it from the Notion page and again from uh, the widget. Uh, I do have like a manual refresh here. So we can just write um, testing this out and then I can hit the refresh cloud on the widget that will do a refresh and pull whatever is necessary from it. So it's all pretty cool. Oh, yep. Yeah. So we basically just went to another thing here. Um, on uh, on the widget, if you were to tap into uh, any of the text, it will bring you to that blocks page essentially. So um, what we saw was I was tapping the testing this out. That brings me to that particular blocks page. So anything that I add. Um, here te technically is nested under that. So we can see we've got the intention there. Um, and yeah, again, you can always uh, click the title to kind of just like quickly jump into uh, your Notion page uh, within the native Notion app. So um, this is all doing just a page. Um, what if we wanted to do a collection? So. I've got a um, scriptable widget here that's not yet configured. Um, so we're going to configure that. So we edit the widget and we are going to select the script, which is the Notion block view. And then when we're interacting, we'll just have it run. So it basically just refreshes um, the widget anyways. And then for the parameter, what we need is a collection. So we're just gonna make a quick collection here um, called test collection and I don't need to add anything and we will copy the link and through iOS we should be able to paste that in now whenever this runs we should have 
a view of the contents of the test collection collection or database. Um, so basically, everything functions the same way. You can uh, tap into it to kind of view the collection. It probably hasn't updated on <laughs> the iOS notion yet. It's slowly coming in, but anyhow. Um, but you can also tap the, the plus, and again, we're going to add something here. So test page. And what this is actually going to do is uh, append the, um, I guess, like the next row in the collection uh, with that name. Now, you can have a lot more columns on here. Uh, right now, that doesn't show up anywhere within the widget. Um, it's technically possible um, that that information is returned um, in, in like the JSON. So if you're willing to do that, you can definitely add like, you know, a timestamp or, or some special tags or something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's there. Uh, and the nice thing with the collections is um, if you were to tap into that, that page or block, Notion, what's going on here? Let's try that again. So it should open Notion. Yeah, there we go. To um, that block that I've tapped. So this would be the test page. So another nice way to kind of um, quickly get to uh, you know a specific uh, page or, or the content of a page that you want to manipulate. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, Again, I think there's there is a lot of um, work that is required to kind of set this up. Um, I mean, all the technical work in terms of uh, creating the server and the the shortcuts and the JavaScript it's all done. It's basically just piecing it all together. Um, the part that's most out of reach, I would say, is the Notion API. So with respect to um, this custom Notion server, um, I've created this server in such a way that you can uh, send requests to it with your Notion token. And the server will perform the action on your behalf. Um, so the only thing there is you have to be comfortable sending your token. <laughs> um, you can look at the server code. I, there, I don't do anything with respect to logging. Um, and most of the time, like no, the, the tokens will cycle um, periodically anyways. Uh, if you are very, uh, if you're concerned about the, the exposing the token, uh, you can use your own Notion server. Um, it, it runs on Heroku, uh, everyone gets a uh, free Heroku server, essentially, or application that can run. So with a little bit of work, you can essentially get your own server running that you can use uh, for your own usage. Um, and then, yeah, that's basically it. I am definitely curious to see the official Notion API and if that can replace um, this Notion server component that I have here. If that's doable, then that's great. Um, I did see that Notion uh, recently had released their own widgets on iOS. Um, unfortunately, it, it doesn't have the same functionality as this, where you have a page selected and you can see the contents and add to the contents. Um, it was more of a, here are your favorites and here are pages that are recently um, viewed or edited. Uh, but that may change in the future as well. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, video and you play around with it. Uh, you can always reach out um, on the GitHub repository that will be posted in the uh, descriptions. So yeah, take care.